Hi, my name is Hannah Brooks. Hi, my name is Io Norman Williams. My name is Annabelle Davis. I'm Ollie Hyatt. And I express myself through art. I love drawing since I was young, but it's hard for me to know if it's because I struggled with other subjects as I have dyslexia or because I just had a talent for it. My pictures were always something to do with a story, be it my own characters or characters from other people's books. I used to make up silly stories and perform plays for my parents when I was very little. You might recognise me from CBBC's The Dumping Ground, but in my spare time I like to draw and paint. And I've been doing this since the age of about four because I had to have an operation on my foot so I couldn't walk so well. So instead my parents gave me some pencils and paper to play around with and I've been doing it ever since. I'm a um, stop motion animator. Um, I do a lot of sculpting and animation for my job, but uh, on the weekends I actually tend to like doing something a bit different. Um, I do a lot of like crocheting and knitting and embroidering. I find it helpful to step away from my job art um, to do a bit more crafty things which I find enjoyable as well. I'm currently studying computer science at City University of London and I'm aiming to become a game designer because I love drawing, I love games, put the two together and that's what I want to do. I express myself through art using different colours, textures and brush strokes. I don't really think about this too much, it just sort of happens, kind of effortless. I think the thing that's different about art compared to other creative mediums is that if you have an idea in your head, you can go from immediately thinking of it to having it down on paper, able to share it with people, to show people what's in your head. And I think that's really special. I think that where I am on the spectrum means my mind is always very active. I call it mania, and I find it very hard to find moments of peace and relaxation. It's both a blessing and a curse. The only way I manage to relax completely is by being engaged in art or playing sport. I do a lot of sculpting at work and it's to briefs and I have to stick to the brief and sometimes it's not as creative as you'd like it to be. So I made this little, little girl I was stuck in a little bit of a, a rut and I just made something for myself. It's something that I wanted to do. If you want to describe something that's in your head, you can think of all the words to just try and describe it and even that might not work, or you can immediately draw it, have it down on paper and show it to someone, and they'll immediately understand what you're talking about. So I think that is really special and really, really different to other ways of expressing yourself creatively. It really did kind of reinvigorate my actual work life as well. It made me a bit more passionate about what I was doing because I was doing something for myself as well. I'm in a very fortunate position now that I spend all day every day conceiving and developing shows. My journey from animator to creating my own shows has allowed me to meet many inspirational, like-minded creatives. After I sculpted her, I started thinking, well, maybe I should make this into a stop motion puppet. So I started to maybe design an armature to go inside her. I then thought, oh, well, if I'm going to make her into a puppet, then maybe I should make a story out of it. So I'm now trying to write a story around her. I feel like I've learned a lot about myself through art, particularly last year during the lockdown. Uh, art really helped me cope with that because we couldn't leave the house. So I spent my time painting. Uh, I focused mainly on oils because it's something I really wanted to get better at. I think art has helped me discover that I'm way more resilient than I thought I was. There have been times where a drawing just does not work. <laughs> it's like my pen doesn't want to cooperate with me. During those times, even when I've wanted to throw my pen and my tablet away completely and never draw again, I always pick them back up and try again and try again and try again until I feel like I'm happy with it. I've been able to collaborate in different ways, be it on a Christmas pop song with Scouting for Girls or getting a publishing deal for my book. And then I challenge myself with some different subjects like hands and portraits in particular. Uh, I used my family as subjects because that's all I had. And uh, after I ran out of photos of them, I then turned to myself and I even did my first self-portrait. So now uh, I can silver solder, which I couldn't do before. And I'm learning about more things about my job. 
how to make armatures, something I've never thought about learning how to do, but this kind of sparked that maybe I should be learning how to do this. Maybe I should think about something else. So it's, yeah, yeah, feels quite, quite a good little, little project. Knowing that I'm able to come back and try again and try again until I'm totally happy with something, until I feel like I've learned from what I'm doing, that is something that drawing taught me. For me, my art was always a way of escaping and relaxing, and I still try and find time to paint as often as possible. However, I never forget how badly I struggled with dyslexia when I was young. So many of the shows I now work on um, try and help other children who may not have the same opportunities as everyone else. So most of the time I work as an actor, currently on the dumping ground, which I love because we're like one big family. Uh, but with that, I do get a lot of downtime, both in the green room and at home which I like to fill with art. And while I'm at work, I'll often ask my fellow cast members, what shall I draw or paint that day? And uh, I'll just do that. Alpha Blocks and Number Blocks um, are two shows that help children right around the world with the core of basic subjects. Or shows like Olive the Ostrich, which uh, part of the conception of the idea was that we went into schools where children didn't have the same opportunities as everyone else and helped them draw every single thing you would find uh, in an episode of a TV show. I think it's important for young people to express themselves, particularly with art, because young people have the most interesting ideas. I think that it's young people whose imaginations run wild who have the potential to come up with the next big thing, you know. And I think it's down to young people to kind of shake it up a little bit, break the status quo and say, no, I want this story to be told. I want to tell stories about myself and my experiences and the stuff that I don't normally see. Sometimes you can't say what you feel or sometimes it's easier to draw it or sculpt it. I believe every child is born creative and entrepreneurial but like everything else being creative takes practice and effort and frankly most of the effort is finding time and space to be playful and allow ideas and thoughts to combine in different ways. And practice can simply be how you enjoy presenting those thoughts and ideas, be it a picture, a book, animation, anything you desire. I think it's really important for young people to express themselves through any of the art because it helps you discover who you are, what you like and how you're feeling. Pick up the paintbrush, get some plasticine, sculpt something doesn't have to be good you have to start somewhere i think my dyslexia helps me think differently anyway so i see it as a bit of a superpower really for creative thinking my advice to anyone looking to get into the creative industries would be to work hard have fun and be creative don't stop don't stop drawing just keep going at it you're always going to have new ideas that nobody else has and you have to be the one to bring them to life what's great about art is that all you need is a piece of paper and a pencil to get started and it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as you feel good and you have fun doing it you learn a lot about yourself as well through your art it's it's a way of expressing how you feel there's always something to learn from someone else and you're always making progress even if it doesn't feel like it at the time. So you'll look back on your older drawings at a certain point and realise, oh, I've actually come really far even when you didn't realise it. So that would be my advice, just keep drawing all the time, all the time, all the time. Just keep going for it because eventually you'll get there. For me, a piece of art can take anywhere between an hour or just a couple of minutes, but it doesn't matter as long as I keep doing it. Hi, I'm Shemaine and I'm from the Art Room team at Place to Be and I enjoy expressing myself through art. Art is a great way for us to express ourselves and understand our thoughts and feelings. Recently, my team and I did this fun activity where we expressed ourselves through our clothes and accessories. It was a great chance for us to get to know a little bit more about each other and also what's important to us. I made this colourful badge to remind myself I can try my best at any new situation. I might choose to wear my wonderful colourful woolen 
hat. Not only does it keep me warm, it's really comfortable and it cheers me up when I feel down. My art activity for you is to create a picture of something that you would enjoy wearing. Now, this could be as simple as a badge, a hat, a pair of shoes, or a whole imaginative outfit. Have a go, and you don't need to make the perfect image. This activity is all about expressing yourself through art.